a piece of wire is attached is attached and hung between two poles. So these are the two poles. This is one pole and this is the other pole. And this is the wire that's hung between the two poles. Okay, what else? First, we need to read the question. A ball is threaded onto the wire. So this is a ball which is threaded onto the wire and released from point A. So this is point A and travels through the other side and it goes to this side. The height h in meters of the ball above the ground at any time t seconds is given by this formula. So this formula tells you the height of the ball at different times. Okay, so the first question. So basically, if you want to understand it a bit graphical, say this is your y-axis, so this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. So I would say on x-axis we have taken time and on the y-axis you have taken uh, height. So height as a function of time is t squared minus 60 plus 9. Okay. So at different times you have got different heights of the ball. Okay. So first question, explain how this formula predicts that the height of the ball at the start is 9 meters. So in maths and physics, when you say at start, at start is a key word. What's the time? Which time? When you're starting something, you can say that the time is? Yes, zero. Okay, so if you put time t is zero, in this equation, you can say h is equal to zero squared minus six times zero plus nine. So in other words, this is 9 meters. So when the ball started, so this is 9 meters. This is 9 meters. Okay, so that's the first question done. So let me move on to the next question. The height at the ground. So this is a ground level. So this is your ground. The time at the height at ground level is 0 meters. Use this information to find, use this, uh, okay, so this actually, the graph, let me, actually it should look like this, okay, so this is just touching the ground and going up. Okay, the height at the ground level is zero meters, so that means h is zero meters. If h is zero meters, use this to find the time the ball is at the ground level. So when height is zero, at what time does your ball hit the ground? That's the question. So let's put z, h is equal to zero in this equation. So if you put zero in this equation, I can say zero is equal to t squared minus 60 plus nine. So writing this as a quadratic equation, this is t squared minus 60 plus nine is equal to zero. So factorizing this, I'm putting them in two brackets. So this is t and t. So think of two factors, which gives you two factors of nine, which gives you negative six. Well, both have to be negative. So it's negative three, negative three. So you can say t minus, you can say t minus three, the whole squared is equal to zero. That means this has to be zero if something squared is zero, that number has to be zero. So t minus three is zero. So at when time or after three seconds, the ball hits the ground. Okay, so after three seconds, so this is zero when t is equal to, so here you can see your t is equal to three at this point. At this point, we saw that t is, t is, equal, to, t is equal to zero. Okay, so the next question, so let me scroll this up. Okay, I need to look at the, okay. So the next question is, after how many seconds, after how many seconds from the start is the ball again at nine meters above the ground? So basically the question is, when would this, when would the height of the, so this is nine meters, this is nine meters. So when would this be at this point? 
Okay, so you want to find at what time, this is the time that you want to find. So your question is basically, you need to interpret the question. So let me write the equation, h is equal to, h is equal to t squared minus 60 plus 9. So the question is, when, when is your height going to be 9 meters? We already know when t is 0, that's 9. When t is 0, your height is 9. When else is it going to be 0? So when h is 9, what's your t? Okay, so it should be a positive number. So let's put 9 here. So 9 is equal to t squared minus 60 plus 9. So what can I do? I can take away 9 from both sides. So take away 9 from here, take away 9 from here. So this has become a quadratic equation of 0 is equal to t squared minus 60. So let me write in a quadratic form. So t squared minus 60 is equal to 0. So how can you factorize here? So well, this is t times t minus 6 is equal to 0. So again, it's a quadratic form. So I can say, well, this times this is 0. So using your logic, I can say t has to be 0. That's something that you already know. Or t minus 6 is equal to 0. So t has to be 6. So when t is 6, so after 6 seconds, the ball is again at the at this height. So here you can say when t is 6 seconds. So after 6 seconds, the ball is again here at 9 meters. Okay, and the last question. Okay. So when the ball is lower than 1 meter, the ball, a dog can reach it. Between which two times can the dog possibly reach the ball. So this is the application of quadratic equation. So yeah, so this is where, so this is one meter. This is one meter, see? So the ball, the dog can reach the ball at this time. So let me call this T1. And between these two times, and this is your T2. So the question is between these, between which two times can the ball, can the dog reach the ball? So when the, this is say one meter, so this is one T1 and this is T2. Okay, so let me write again the equation. H is equal to T squared minus 60 plus 9. So the question is, when h is 1, what is your t? When h is 1, what is your t? So let's put 1 here. Actually, it is 1 or less than 1. I'll put 1, and then we can understand it graphically. So I want to make it a quadratic equation. So I'm going to take away 1 from this side. So take away 1 from this side. So what will happen? So this is 0 is equal to t squared minus 60 plus 8. So writing a quadratic form, t squared minus 60 plus 8 is equal to 0. So factorizing this, this is t minus 4 times t minus 2 is equal to 0. So t is equal to 2 or t is equal to 4. So t1 is 2 and t2 is 4. So basically, between which two times? Between two seconds. So you can say your answer should be between two seconds and four seconds. Okay, the ball, the dog can reach the ball.